I hate to tell you, but you're leaving. You're being evicted. Hello everyone, how are you? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am glad you were able to join me today. And today I'm going to be doing kind of a full face of stuff, but I don't have all the stuff of the brand that I'm going to be talking about. But I do want to highlight some products because they were kind enough to send me PR. I know, I still can't believe it myself. You have heard me talk about the brand before. Obviously you've seen it in the title so you know what it is but I've been purchasing ZC products mostly their eyeshadows and highlighters for a couple of years and some of you amazingly wonderful people have also gifted me some items from ZC because they do have cats on their stuff <laughs> and you guys know how much cats make me happy but they contacted me and said that they wanted to send me a few things I am not sponsored because I am not under a contract. I did not sign a contract to talk about them, but they were kind enough to send me the products and I really love what I've tried so far. So I have not tried these products thus far. I wanted to give the, them and you my first impression of them. They asked me to pick out a couple of products from the links that they sent and I did pick out a color correcting primer, a face powder, and I also have mascara. I was kind of excited and Winnie's kind of excited too because she just she just jumped up on my lap. Everybody say hi to Winter Cat. Say hi Winnie. Say hello. Make your presence known. She's been very clingy the last couple of days and I'm really not sure why. Although I can say that animals are very intuitive. Yeah, I, I love you too. You've been wanting to hang out here with me but I can't do my makeup while you're on my lap. So we have to we got to come to a compromise here, kind of. She's, she's currently just, I guess, going to hang out in my lap. This is going to be interesting. Let's, let's see how I can do this. First, let me wash my paws. If I still sound a little nasally, I cannot seem to shake whatever I had. Um, I still have some of that congestion going on. And wow, that light is awfully bright. Sorry about that in advance. So let's talk about the first product that I want to try. This is... This is interesting. So this product is actually called the Light Feather Repair Cream. So when I chose this, they called it a primer, but on here it doesn't say a primer, but it is tinted. They have several colors. They had a purple Winnie. They had a purple. They had this one that I have here, which I believe is referred to as DW03, which is more of that peachy shade which is what I need to cancel out the things that are going on for my face mostly. They are a Chinese brand and I found out that they were born in 2011. One thing about the company is their packaging is cute, smart, innovative, different and also very high quality. This is the bottle. It is of course a glass bottle. And this is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. They have several collections or collaborations that they have. And yes, I am still doing this with the cat on my lap, by the way. Now, I do have some moisturizers on. I am exhausted, as you can probably tell from looking at me. But let's see how this stuff helps to, you know, fix all of that. Let me pump some onto my hand. Again, I have not even primed the bottle. Okay, it's on the thicker side. It feels very much like a moisturizer. Now on the bottle itself, it's mostly in Chinese, so I am unable to read it, but I don't have directions really. It's weird because when I searched the name that's on the package, it didn't come up, but when I went to click on the link that they sent me, it brought me to the exact product. So I will say that's just a little bit confusing. It is only $14.99 and currently it's on sale for $11.90, which is also a very good price. So yes, I chose what they call natural and it says even skin tone. Let my phone know we need. No, no. No, no. Good girl. I'm sorry. So I am going to put up a picture of what their link sent me to and it doesn't look like what they sent me. So again, I'm quite confused. There is a fly in here and to be honest with you, I'm terrified at the moment. 
This says the British Museum XZC, and on the front it says Alice in Wonderland. Let me see if I could figure this out. Maybe they accidentally sent me the wrong product. Okay, I see. They sent me a different product. It is a primer. It is the Alice in Wonderland Alice Makeup Hydrating Primer. This product is $18, and they sent me Peach Nude. So they obviously sent me the wrong thing. That's okay. I really just wanted to figure it out because I was just a little bit, you know, perplexed. It has some skin nourishing ingredients in here. So it does feel almost like um, a sunscreen consistency, just a bit. It smooths in. It does not appear to have a scent. I don't initially see any brightening or much. I don't think it's much of a color corrector. Like when I think of a color corrector, I think of more what I'm used to using that it's definitely obvious. And I, maybe it would work if I put a huge amount on, but that's not something that I'm wanting to do. So I am actually going to use some color corrector. I'm using my Stila palette, which I've had for quite a while. And uh, I just kind of want to use it again. I haven't picked it up in a while. I know this looks quite harsh quite a bit harsh so I am going to lighten it up with a, a lighter color here I'm just using my real techniques body sponge yeah I know it's dirty I can see that I said it blended in nice it doesn't feel uh, tacky or sticky now for some reason no it's not for some reason it's because uh, my life is a mess that I don't know what I did with my Michaud Beauty foundation which is my go-to because I never have to worry about it looking bad on my skin I have not a clue where that is so we are going to go with, with the do I want to use this one or do I want to use the Chanel mm, I'm trying the Chanel out a little bit it's the color slightly off but I kind of make it work I'm really not sure how I feel about it but I'm giving it a shot this is Le Beige and I got the color BR22. It is still a little bit yellow on me, and I think it's also slightly too light. But hey, you know, taking another dirty sponge. Oh boy. And you know, I think I've changed my mind again because I don't want to use a foundation that I'm questionable about when I'm using a new primer that I want to test. So that idea is going to go out the window. So let's go back to my initial idea, which is the Yensa Super Serum Silk Foundation. This color is much better. Just so you can see the difference in the two colors, the lighter pinky or yellow one is the Chanel. So fly, you better stay away from me. And I hate to tell you, but you're leaving. You're being evicted. A couple of things is that this foundation went on the same as it always does with any other primer that I've used previously. It didn't change it. It doesn't look bad. The makeup went on nicely and it doesn't look patchy. As I said, it's acting the same on top of this primer as it would on top of any other. So that's a really, really good sign for me. And for $18, the glass bottle, the, the pretty little design there from the Alice in Wonderland, I think it's so cute. I said, now that I actually figured it out. I mean, look how beautiful the actual box is. Attention to detail is something that I like with this company a lot. I'm going to use my Yensa BC Concealer in the color Light Natural. I'm not sure how the temperature is where you guys are, but it is a beautiful, like 55 degrees and sunny here in New York, and it's been refreshing. I can tell you that when you're having a hard time, horrific weather certainly does not help the situation. Yes, things are not getting better. They're actually getting worse for me. But, you know, I keep putting my two little paws on the ground every morning and keep praying that somehow, some way, things will improve. And if they don't, I'm going to face that too. But I have little fuzzy creatures that depend upon me, and I'm not going to let them down. This is the British Museum XZC. Again, a beautiful packaging. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this packaging is. Wait, let me take this off. Look at that. 
it comes with a little sponge and it does have a mirror which just also has a thing over it which I won't take off because I don't want it to glare. But look at the embossing in the powder. That's absolutely stunning. This is spongy but it is a little bit fuzzy on the outside. This powder was also $18 and it says Alice Refreshing Silky Powder. It seems that it only comes in HO2 light and HO2, HO3 natural. I actually chose HO3, which is the natural. Now, because they give you a little puff here, I am going to try using that. I hate to ruin the embossing. It does feel quite finely milled. Now obviously a sponge is going to give you a heavier application than if you use a brush. I'm actually glad I chose this color because I think the light would have been too light for my skin tone. Now I'm going to use a very fluffy brush. See how that works. Not a lot of kick up or powder flying everywhere. Okay, I think it went on nicely. You can see it did lighten things up a little bit, so if that's a concern, that might be something for you to take note of. Loving the little Beauty Blender puffy thing here, and even though my under eyes are going to look like the Crypt Keeper, I'm still going to use my By Terry powder, which you can see that I love because I have almost fi Kaffir, finished it need to put something on my lips. I'm going to use my Dermalect Cosmeceuticals. This is supposed to be a smooth lip volumizer. I will say my face is just looking a little bit dry. I, it's hard to pinpoint whether or not it's a powder or not. How many times can I say that? So I'm absolutely going to have to give that another try for sure. Okay, so the only other thing that they sent me was the mascara. Obviously, fur. Obviously, I'm going to do my other products. Let me do my blush and bronzer. Bronzer first, then blush, obviously. Off camera, I will come back to talk about the eyeshadows and the highlighter that I'm going to use. Okay, so I just added some blush and bronzer. I am using a combination of the Glowish Bronzer from Huda Beauty, which just wasn't giving me much because it's a bit of a heavier base, and this was just not showing up enough. So I used the Winky Lux Coffee Bronzer, which... Yum! Definitely smells like coffee. So the combination of these two. And then I'm also using the Patrick Ta blush in She's Seductive. This has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I wasn't expecting, but I don't think it looks too bad. You guys can let me know. I was going to use this Natasha Denona bronze cheek palette and add some of this which is more of a highlighter but I can also use it as a little bit of a shimmery bronzer but I don't want to get too highlighted because I do want to use the highlights from ZC. First impression thus far I don't know quite how I feel about the powder. I will have to give it a second chance. Right now it's not my favorite but again there could be some other factors. What I do want to do is just spray my face though. Play X uh, Cobra Kai the Energizing Facial Mist. I got this in, I think it was an AIA Beauty Box, as a matter of fact. Okay, honestly, that really did help the powder just kind of settle in a little bit. My eyes still look dry, but we know about my under eyes. Okay, I have several about probably five different ZC eyeshadow palettes. I was only able to find four. <laughs> I found two big ones and two small ones. As I said, a couple of them were a gift from one of you guys. So I said they oh, they do have cats and you know how I feel about the cats. It's very, very hard to uh, know the names, but I will like look them up just by the look of them and I'll place the links below. Again, not an affiliate affiliate link at all. This is a beautiful um, neutral palette. Here's the other one. Has like a winny face to me. This one is really, really light. It doesn't have much depth at all to it, so I usually have to pull something else unless I'm just using one or two colors and not going for any depth. This one is called the Fireworks palette. This one's really quite heavy duty. Gorgeous packaging on the outside. Look at how stunning that is. I mean, 
Look at this particular shadow with the little embossing in the middle. This one does have a pressed glitter in it, which is on a sticky base, but it does have some chunky glitter. And let me just swatch that one pretty shade for you. I hate to use it sometimes because it gets all messed what am I doing? It gets messed up once you rub your finger in it. It's extremely, extremely light though. And I have several of the cat palettes. Unfortunately, I do not know where the rest of them are. Yeah, I know. I still haven't organized everything. If you, if you only knew what was going on, you'd, you'd completely understand. But look at this one. They're cute. And I think this is the one I want to use because it does have a much darker chocolate color. And I don't know, I want to use the kitty cat. This also does have a pressed glitter in it, the white one. It's definitely in a sticky, sticky base. So you really just have to like press your finger to get it on there. You can see that one a little bit better. I should really do my brows first. And honestly, I, and I should also throw it on the floor. But I think I've been liking the Rowan Beauty Wow Brow lately. I don't know, I change my mind on a daily basis about whether things look good on me or not. It's so weird, I want to share so many things with you guys, but after a while I'm like, I don't have positive things to share because I said things are really going very, very badly for me right now, and I don't want to just come in here all the time and complain to you guys. I want like something positive to talk about, and how sad is it that I have nothing positive to talk about? But I know that I'm not alone. I know that people are probably going through, if not what I'm going through, then maybe they're going through something else that is just completely consuming their lives. What I will say or what I can say is that people can surprise you and what you don't think could happen, I can tell you a thousand percent. Don't ever say, oh, that could never happen. They'll never act like that. Trust me when I tell you. I can do a couple of things. I don't want a lot. What I do want is having to start my life over. I just honestly want a peaceful, a peaceful life. Um, and it's not peaceful. I don't want things. I want peace. I mean, would you look at the embossings on some of these? I want to take this color, but look at that little baby kitty. I mean, I can't with the cuteness. And I'm just using a complex culture brush. I want to use my Sonia G brushes, but they're probably all dirty. I was going to put eye primer on, but I really already know how these perform. And I don't need them to stay on all day, to be honest with you. I'm going to be trying to organize my life today. I have to get my taxes done, so I have to start working on that. Because taxes for me, because I have two 1099 jobs, oh my goodness, they are a nightmare. And what's frustrating me, oh, for, I just, I give up sometimes. Uh, what's frustrating me is that, you know, as I said, I do consider this a job, even though it's one that I love, and I've had to neglect this. I haven't been able to edit and get a video up this entire week. Today will be seven days that I haven't posted. And the thing about YouTube is you get out of it what you put into it. If you don't post, you're not going to be in the algorithm. If you're not in the algorithm, no one's going to see your videos and you're not going to make any money. And sure, I want to make money from this because it's effort. I love it. And what better, as I've said in the past, how amazing is it to be able to do something you love and actually make money at it? But it's not like, you know, I, my other job where if I take time off, I'm still getting paid because of being in a union and contracts and all that kind of stuff. You don't post on YouTube. You don't make money. I'm just going to use a more free brush, an M330. I've used it so much it's all worn off. And I'm going to take this adorable little one with the whiskers. I can't. <laughs> I mean, for less, such a light shade, by the way, that one was extremely pigmented. On my skin tone, again, I can't speak to other skin tones. I do know that because they are a Chinese brand, I don't know if they cater to many deeper skin tones. Now they do have a subscription box, but I just can't afford to do yet another. I canceled my FabFitFun. I am currently, at least right now, still getting the Boxy Premium and the Glam Bag Plus and the original. I may actually have to 
get rid of those two. I'm really trying to just see what my finances will bring. I'm going to take my Sonia G brush. This is the worker brush and I want to run that color underneath my eyes. I couldn't get the word eyes out of my mouth for some reason. <laughs> oh. The one thing I forgot is that this dark color is a shimmer one so I'm going to see how I'm going to incorporate that. I'm going to use this brown over here and let's see I'm using one of my refer brushes number 14. One thing I haven't tried from ZC that I would really like to is some of their complexion products like aside from the powder I would like to try their foundation the uh, and their lipsticks the bottles and the packaging that they come in are like unbelievably beautiful it's something that <laughs> if I actually had people in my house and I actually had like a way to display them or want to display them I would they're just they're conversation pieces they're beautiful I'm going to use one of my IT Cosmetics brushes. These guys are super, super heavy. They came in a kit that I got like really quite a long time ago and I love them. I'm taking this uh, neutrally color. Yeah, that's really descriptively in. And I'm just kind of using it to blend. Huh, you know what? I, I have to try a little bit of that black. It's, it's calling to me for some reason. And I'm going to take my other Sonia G brush. This is a blender, but I want to just stamp it into this black here, even though it's sparkly. Because of the type of brush I'm using, it is going on light, which is kind of what I want, to be honest with you. See, I just needed that little bit of depth now. I have to pick a pretty color. Huh. I haven't used this one in a while. I want to use that color. And I'm sorry I'm not giving names, but there aren't any names on them. I thought this was just a topper, but it's actually really quite pigmented. It just feels like a topper. But I mean, look at the payoff. I completely just like changed the whole, the whole look. Because I was going to go with the orange, like it's a little bit um, more substantial, but I don't know, I'm really happy with this choice. I don't know, I kind of like it. I'm going to take this white shimmer here and I'm going to, it's actually more of a yellowy shimmer to be honest. Why do I say like to be honest? Like what, what is that? Like I'm constantly lying? Sometimes I do not make sense. I also am just putting a little bitty bitties up here. Because why the hell not? It's makeup and it washes off. And what I want to do now is put some eyeliner on. I'm not going to do wick, wick lid. Wick lid. Wow. Okay, Leanne. Yeah. I, I don't even, I don't, don't even have word for just what came out of my mouth. And I even said that backwards. I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7. Oh, liner. 24-7 liner. I'm almost done with it. I don't have words for myself at the moment. You know when you have that one thing that is just your go-to that you don't have a question whether or not it's going to work? These eyeliners are amazing. I absolutely will go out and purchase those when that one is done, even though I have a bunch of others. So when I don't want to think about it, I'm going to reach for that one. So I'm going to use the well, this is the one I used last time, the Ciate Definer Liner. See, this one is sparkly, but I think it just adds a little bit. So, I mean, these are the spinners, and look at that. How can, how can you not find this adorable? Wait. Oh, she doesn't want to work very much. When I get her the right way, she does. Let me just swatch these really quickly. I just noticed that the glitter, that whitish glizzer, glizzard? <coughs> glitter, has butterfly cut pieces of glitter in it. I just noticed that when I went to wipe it off my hand. And little stars as well. Freaking cute. Okay, let's do this. There's that one. I wish that one spun. And there's that color. Oh, now it spins. See, I said it's temperamental. And here's a more pinky one. 
really. I think I'm going to go with the other because it's more peachy and that's kind of what I'm wearing. I'm using a Laura Lee uh, Cosmetics Highlighter Brush here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And now they're spinning endlessly in my jaw. Somebody explain that to me. Okay, here is the mascara. Oh, by the way, everything came shrink wrapped, but I took it off to save a little bit of time. I had choices. They do have these in colors, but I wanted black because black is primarily what I wear most often. And then it takes the shrink wrap over this one first, so that was that was completely backwards. I only took it off of the other two. And I obviously touched my eye. And now, because of that, I have shadow on the side of my nose. You know, that's... Don't you guys wear shadow on the side of your nose? Yeah, I, I, I often do. Okay. So again, this is the packaging. I didn't even hold it up. Haven't even looked at this yet. Quite a long tube. It's like an iridescent tube. Look at it when the sun hits it. That's really, really pretty. I will put the price of the screen... The price of the screen. I will put the price of this on the screen for you. Hmm. And it says living colorfully. And I'm assuming that in, in Chinese that says black because I can't read it. This is absolutely not what I expected. Color mascara. But look at the wand. This is going to be interesting. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put any primer on because I want you to see exactly what happens when I use this. I don't know if I've ever used something like this. Let's, um... It's very, very bendy. Like, see that? Not a lot, it doesn't get clumpy. But I will say it's kind of just bouncing off my lashes. And yet it's kind of coating them at the same time. Okay, I'm wiggling it instead of like trying to run it through. Okay, it is kind of making those lashes stick together. I need a comb. Now here's the thing, I have naturally long lashes. I always say naturally, I don't have naturally long lashes. I have long lashes because of the medication that I take. So keep that in mind when I'm talking about mascaras. Now I'm just sitting here wiggling on this eye. So what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't take too, too much for me to get something out of a mascara because of my lashes the way they are. The one good thing is because it's bouncing off my lashes so much, it's not splattering on my face, which is a plus. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work with more than one coat. I'm going to try it on my bottom lashes. Okay, because the wand is so thin, I will say that it does work very, very nicely on my bottom lashes. It coated them nicely and easily. I didn't have to worry about getting any on my cheek, but like I can't even add a second coat to my top lashes because it's kind of just bouncing off. I will say this is my first impression, not a favorite mascara of mine. It doesn't look too bad, but it wasn't pleasant to use if that makes sense. I am impressed as I said, that the fact that it was bouncing off my lashes, I was expecting to see it splatter everywhere. And it absolutely doesn't do that. Like when you take it out, there's really no excess product on it. By the way, did I show you the insert of the eyeshadow palette? Even these are just adorable. Here's the thing. I'm not going to like every product from every single brand that I try, and I think like that's okay, personally speaking. I'm just going to throw on what has become like a fave of mine. I just haven't talked about it, but it is the 
ABH Fuller Looking and Sculpted Lip Duo. Mine is in Peach Bud and Sun Baked. All right, I just did a completely rushed job of that, but I really, really am liking this lip color. I'm not liking my base, but again, I don't know what to blame it on. So let's talk about some of the products. I think this could be a really nice powder. I have to try it with other foundations. I really want to try it with my Misha Beauty because that is one of my favorite foundations and I absolutely know that it works. I also tried a new primer, so I have to take that into consideration as well. But it definitely felt really, really nice on my skin. I also have to try this with some other products and see if I like it even more than I currently do. The mascara, I'm really iffy about. I will probably use it on my bottom lashes because it was really, really simple to do that. And just wasn't my favorite application process. But that is it for my finished ZC look. I do want to thank ZC Cosmetics so very much for sending these to me. And I will, again, as I said, have a link below, but it is not an affiliate link and nor do I have a code but if they have any codes that I can find I'd be happy to put them down in there for you guys as well. I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me because you are amazingly wonderful people that I am so incredibly blessed to have as part of this channel and I thank you and I am thankful for you guys every single day. And remember, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in and around, I hope you're having an amazing day or an amazing night depending upon where you are and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Much love everybody. Bye.